go. Okay, g'day. Welcome to Wyoming Truck and Crane's training video of the Versalift van mount, which is the 13 metre version, this version. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to point out with this machine, is inside the cab you'll find the operator's manual. Always pays to go through the operator's manual for the general operations and the safety of the equipment, emergency recovery specifically. So that should always be in the cab. Okay. Okay, when we're in the position for working, we make sure that our handbrake's on and pulled up. The handbrake must be on to op uh, activate the operations. And then we can start the vehicle. Foot on the clutch. To the right of the steering wheel is the PDO button. A light comes on and you can hear the change. Next stage is in the front here to the left of the gear stick we have our outrigger controls so we have a left hand jack and a right hand jack down so position the truck level we're not to lift the tires off the ground but you'll see all three lights one two and three lights for safe operations, we're ready to work. Now I'd just like to point out for the stability of this machine, with the van mounts, when the jacks are deployed, we like to have the front tyres just touching the ground, and same with the rear tyres, just touching the ground for, stabil for stability. Okay, now we'll step inside the bone, the basket control. Before I do so, at the rear here, you'll see in the stowed position, there is a ball joint that needs to sit in the home position. And you'll see that this is packed up. It activates a micro switch when it's home. Okay. Okay, stepping into the basket, we attach our lanyard, first of all. Now we come to the operations. So you'll see here, I've got all of my controls for the van mount. The first position that we want to raise the bucket out of the cradle is on the bottom control. Here we have a single selection for different functions. To activate the control, we lift the locker and we raise. We take the basket out of the cradle and then we can select any of the other functions, telescope. Don't worry about it, Russell. Jib. Up and down. You'll see the controls are on a proportional controller. The slower I go, the slower the function. And slew. Right and left. Okay, so from here we can stop the engine. And we have our emergency backup pump, which we can activate for no more than 30 seconds at a time. So with this in mind, we select the electric pump, you'll hear the pump rev up, and we can select a function that it's selected to. Right and left. Once again, this is only for an emergency situation to pack the machine up if, to override the main engine. We have an e-stop here that will stop all functions in the engine, and we can start our engine again when everything's normal. If we need to level the bucket, we select it on zero. The bucket level position. Forward and reverse. 
for manually adjusting the bucket. It's self-leveling, so we only need to do so every so often. Stowing the boom back into its cradle, we must make sure that we line the boom up with the cradle position, and the chip is also to be fully retracted. And it's home. Okay. Once we've finished operating here, I'd like to show you the emergency controls quickly. Inside the van is our emergency control. The keep is positioned in the basket position for normal operations. Only in emergency situation do we need to key it over to the ground controls. same functions as we do on the basket. Boom raise, boom lower, slew left, slew right, jib up, jib down, basket level, or manual correction, and we have stop, start, and go. We also have the electric override button, which we can select at any time if the engine's off to retract the guys from the basket to the ground. Once we're in normal operations again, the handpiece goes back in the stow position, the key goes back over, selected to basket, and we have normal operations. Once we've finished operating the basket, we can come back and retract our legs in the up, stowed upright position. The PDO's out, and we're ready to drive. Thanks very much for listening to our training video. We'll see you next time.